Hello, brothers and sisters. Let's read the next part of Paul's letter from lockdown, his letter to the Philippian church. I'm reading from chapter 1 and verses 21 to 26. Paul writes, For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labour for me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain, and I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith, so that through my being with you again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me. What are you most looking forward to about the end of lockdown? The kids going back to school or seeing your grandchildren, perhaps enjoying that holiday that you had to postpone or even getting a haircut. You know, these are all good things, but they're short term goals. Longer term, will you simply go back to doing what you always did and being who you always were? In the scripture that we've just read, the Apostle Paul is reflecting on how his own lockdown might end. He thinks he'll probably be released from prison, but he knows he might be executed. And that, says Paul, presents him with a dilemma. Which would be better? Well, which would you choose? Release from prison or execution? I guess most of us would say, well, that's a no-brainer, Eddie. If I'm released from prison, I win. If I'm executed, I lose everything. Well, Paul knows better than that. He knows that he has a future whatever happens. For to me, to live is Christ, he writes, and to die is gain. He's not facing a win or lose situation. He's facing a win-win situation. You see, life is for Christ, and so if he's released from lockdown, he'll give himself to growing in Christ and sharing Christ with others. But what if he dies in lockdown? Well, to die is gain. And so if he's executed, he will have more of Christ than ever. Which means that dying for Christ wouldn't be the true sacrifice, because that would be better for Paul. Living to tell others the gospel is the real sacrifice, but then that's better for others. So that's the way Paul leans. He's imitating Christ, who sacrificed himself for our salvation. Now that's how God's word speaks to our thinking about the end of lockdown. Imagine if we were all determined that when lockdown is ended, we would give ourselves fully to the work of the Lord, to serving others in Jesus' name, to making disciples. By all means, let's celebrate being able to meet again with family and friends. Enjoy your holiday, enjoy your haircut. Of course, they're all good things. But will that be the only way that your life changes after lockdown? Wouldn't it be great if lockdown taught us to appreciate that life is short? that life is precious, and that life is not to be used selfishly, but lived for Christ. You see, life is like money. It can be easily squandered on things that won't last, or it can be used wisely. It can be spent for the glory of God. It can be invested for eternity. So when lockdown is over, what will you do? with what remains of your life. Let's pray about that now. Father God, we naturally want to make life about us rather than about Christ. Please grow us by your Spirit, so that if we live to be released from lockdown, serving Christ will be our greatest passion and delight for your glory's sake. Amen. God bless you, friends. Bye for now.